Okay, this is a great horned owl that was actually found in my neighborhood right down the road, literally. And he's covered in flat flies. And you can't just swat these things. You've got to squeeze them. And I know it's disgusting, but it is what it is. These guys don't have really fleas and ticks, but they do have their own brand of ectoparasites. And they're gross. They're horrible. Um, this bird was probably hit by a car. The um, right eye is starting to shrink down. And that's a problem because when it becomes thesical, it'll shrink down to the size of a garden pea. And then that you're just basically you've created a portal of entry for bacteria. And you just don't have a good long term um, result with that. So, but I have had one case where the eye reinflated. So, uh, so I'll give him a chance. Now, this bird's really, really skinny, so he's been on the ground for a while, and he's covered in flat flies. And of course, when they're down like this, that's when the parasites really take over. Um, so, uh, they're irritated because I sprayed them. Um, so, anyway, I've wrapped his feet up. I've got some fluids here that I'm going to give him. Uh, you can do it orally, but I want to get it get it into him pretty quick, so I do it on the inside of the thigh. And I guess you can see this. Their legs are hinged like our arms are, so you just pull it down. I've got a little cotton ball here. I wrapped his feet up so he won't hurt me or himself. Um, and basically, see here's the pink. Want to make sure you're not going into the vein, obviously. So you pull back, make sure there's no blood. And this is a lot of fluids. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do maybe 15 in each leg for a total of 30. And I've got a flat flat crawling on me. I hate those things. Sixty. I will do 20 in each leg. Here we go. All right, buddy. Normally, you'd wrap these guys. You can put them in a gooba. That's an Indian device. It just wraps around them. And, of course, a thousand years ago, it was done with ties. But these days, you use vet wrap. I mean, uh, uh, you know, the hook and loop thing, Velcro, whatever. Um, but he feels so bad. I don't have to hold him down. back make sure there's no blood and then I'll do uh, I'll do the rest orally when I get him upright you don't want to give them solid food all of a sudden because uh, when they start to dehydrate like this they um, start cutting off body systems And one of the things they stop producing are the digestive enzymes. Um, oh, he's very, very weak. If he makes it through the next 24 hours, I'll be happy. But the leaking eyes uh, is worrisome. Um, ah, get that fly. Um, so anyway, I'll, uh, let me get him situated and, and I'll be back. Okay, well, the uh, cornea has been compromised. 
that's the nictitating membrane, but it'll pull away. See right dead in the, in the center of the eye? That's where the leak's coming from. That's the aqueous humor. And of course, the aqueous is still being generated, uh, but without being able to seal that leak, um, it's, it's going to be really bad. I'll start him on uh, an ophthalmic antibiotic. Oops. It's all right, buddy. Okay. And this is a stainless steel cannula. It's really easy to tube these guys. It's okay. Um, the epiglottis is right at the base of the tongue. That's the that's the part you want to avoid. Just get it past that, and you can get it all the way down in there. Oops, can't see from my hand. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's, it's all right, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Okay, I won't stress them out anymore. So he got 40 cc sub Q. And he kept a little bit of the liquid in. Probably would feel good to, um, to wet his whistle because inside of his mouth is so dry. But that, that those pale mucous membranes that's a that's a that's a bad sign oh no sweetheart i'm so sorry it's all right buddy all right i'm just gonna leave him be for a while come back later and give him more fluids okay that's it from hawk talk